Hello, I'm Liviu Bolan and today I will show you how to configure local and uh, remote tunneling to a server uh, using SSH. Okay, so first of all, uh, as you can see here, uh, I'm having a Ubuntu server up and running on a virtual machine and if I go to 192.168.56.101 uh, This is the content generated by my Apache server. Um, if I go to my uh, local uh, operating system and type this command ssh-f-n-l 888 Mm, 192.168.56.101.80 uh, leave you at Ubuntu VM and hit enter uh, now if I go to uh, my local host on port 8888 you will see here the same content as on my uh, remote machine, but this is on my local host. Uh, I didn't uh, make any made any changes to my uh, hosts file. The only stuff that I've done is using this command. So what this command is doing? Um, so. The minus F requires SSH to go to background just before command execution. So, as you saw, I've run this command, but uh, uh, I but SSH didn't stop after I've run the command. Uh, if I type SSH, uh, if I type uh, PS. AUX uh, pipe grep 8888 you will see here the command uh, that I've previously typed uh, which is running into the background uh, the second option minus N do not execute a remote command this is useful for just forwarding ports then the minus L specified that the given port on localhost uh, client um, uh, is to be forwarded to the given port, a uh, host and port on uh, the remote side. Next is the port that is used on my localhost in this situation. Then the remote IP address, then the port used for Apache, which is 80, then the user and host, which is you, uh, which I use to connect to my uh, SSH. Remember that I have uh, a config file for my SSH, and also I'm connecting to my SSH uh, to my uh, server to my virtual machine using SSH keys. Uh, as you saw, I typed uh, a previous command to see the processes. And now, if I s type kill and the process ID, now, if I want to uh, see the, again the content on my local host on port 8888, I am unable to connect because um, no process is ro running using this port. Very important if you want to use the minus F option. Um, in order to use it, do not use multiplexing SSH. If I go to my uh, config file for SSH, and activate the multiplexing for uh, SSH. 
Now, if I uh, type the same command again and see if the uh, if the process is running in the background, no process is running. So if I run again uh, the local host on port 888, nothing happens. So in order to use the minus F option, disable the multiplexing SSH, run the same command again, check if the process is running, and now I should be able to see my localhost port 888, and here I will see the content from my virtual machine. Okay, uh, if I use this command here with minus R option, with uh, minus F to run in background. Now I have two processes. I am able to see the local host, uh, the local host uh, with the content uh, from the remote server, from the remote machine. But also, if I connect using uh, SSH leave you at uh, SSH Ubuntu VM. Now, if I type e-links and use uh, the same URL uh, as on my um, as on my local host here, as you can see, I see the same same content. If I kill the process from the for for the remote server, now if I use the same command again, I am not able to see the content. So uh, this is the local and remote tunneling to a server for SSH. If you want to learn more, uh, read these useful links into the description of, uh, of this tutorial. And also, if you want to learn more about SSH and web technologies, visit my website, livyubalan.com, and also check out my tutorials on YouTube. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.